The Jones Act is a 1920 law justified on national security grounds as a means to bolster the U.S. maritime industry. It restricts domestic shipping to vessels that are U.S. built, U.S. owned, U.S. flagged, and U.S. crewed. However, this law boosts costs by banning foreigners from competing and forcing Americans to purchase ships that are up to eight times more expensive than those built in other countries. The result is higher transportation costs. Shipping oil from Texas to the Northeast, for example, costs three times more than importing oil from Africa. Ultimately, consumers foot the bill. In addition, higher shipping costs push freight from ships onto other sources of transportation, such as trucks, which means more traffic and pollution. Meanwhile, this blatant protectionism has failed to benefit builders of ships in the U.S., whose production is less than 1% of those in China and South Korea. Domestic builders have seen over 300 shipyards close since the early 1980s. Jones Act defenders claim the law ensures adequate U.S. ships during times of war, but during U.S. deployments during operations Desert Shield and Desert Storm, foreign-flagged commercial ships carried twice as much equipment as their U.S. counterparts. In fact, the U.S. was so desperate for shipping that it twice requested the use of a cargo ship from Moscow. Both requests were denied. So the Jones Act has failed to achieve its shipbuilding and national security goals while driving up costs for consumers. It's time for this outdated, costly, and ineffective law to be repealed. It's time to end the Jones Act.